What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to TPA 8th Geek, and today we have uh, a bit of a different video. I did want to credit Red River Aviation on this video because I pretty much got the idea from his video, which was the brand new model airport for his Richmond airport. And so I decided that I would do it for mine because I want to uh, kind of show you guys my brand new airport that will be coming. There's actually going to be a few of these videos within the next month or so because I have four brand new airports coming but after this video is done we have three more videos of this type that will be showing up on your YouTube screen but with that being said let's get right into this video so uh, if you guys are aware of my Lubbock Preston Smith International Airport I actually made that airport a few months back uh, during the pandemic. Uh, I was like bored and researching a lot of airports and I looked through Texas pretty much everywhere and I was able to come and find Lubbock. Well, if you have, if you guys have not seen Lubbock, which pictures are on the screen or showing, you would see that it's pretty much always American RJ, CRJ 900s and there's always like Southwest and then the like United Regionals. The only three airlines flying to Lubbock are Southwest, American, and United. And I thought that was just way just too little for the actual size of the airport that I had because I had a really big board. I had a 4x4 and I still have that board. Uh, I did decide to put it under construction, but after a while, I was like, mm, am I sure that I want to uh, keep doing this airport when it's just three airlines and it goes by pretty quickly. And there's pretty much no variation whatsoever. And so I kept looking and looking until I found a few airports. But this one will be taking over the Lubbock Preston Smith Airport. And the airport that I will be doing that is going to take over the Lubbock Preston Smith Airport, that is... Pensacola International Airport in the state of Florida, which is the state I currently am based at. Uh, so that's the only reason I chose it. Florida had a lot, not the, really the only reason, but I chose it because it's in Florida. Had a lot of different airlines, Frontier, United, American, Southwest, Delta, had much more variation. And I thought it was a much smaller airport that didn't need such a huge board, such as Lubbock did, and it took a lot of space. And the gates are pretty simple to do in Pensacola, pretty simple terminal, very cool and sunny airport every single day. And that's the only reason I pretty much chose Pensacola, because I knew Pensacola was going to be an amazing choice for an airport. And for those of you wondering, yes, uh, me and River River Aviation talked about this. I d we did, we came up to an agreement that I was going to be doing this airport regular, blah, 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 stuff like that. So you can start expecting airport updates for Pensacola talk so we're currently in February so we can expect the airport updates just the first like first everything um first airport update episode 0 and all this stuff you can expect that to come around September October of 2021 I am aware this is a really small airport and it shouldn't take anybody that long to do such an airport but it doesn't come to me because if it was for me, I would have done it today and done. But I can't because I have school and school is pretty much getting on my way of everything. And I pretty much can't do anything with school in the way. So I don't have time to build the airport and things like that. So it would take much longer than expected. And as well as I'm missing a few aircraft such as a few Delta aircraft and some American aircraft. Not much missing American, just, you know, trying to get a, fi a little bit of final things in the mail that I got. And things like that, just little final things. And then just waiting on Gemini to release a few United Regionals as well as the brand new Frontier that they're releasing and stuff. So I'm kind of just holding off, back off until those get released. When those get released and I am able to purchase them and I receive them, then... You can start seeing Pensacola Airport updates. I will start making the airport soon enough. I'll start working on it. I'll start building it and stuff with overtime. But it will have to take 
a big wait until we get what's the remaining of the aircraft from Gemini Jets. So Gemini Jets, if you really, really, really want to make us, the community, happy, please release the aircraft that are missing. So, yeah. With that being said, I also wanted to mention how and why I choose Pensacola. Because, sure, a lot there's a lot of airports in Florida. There's Destin, Fort Walton Beach. There is Jacksonville. There is Tampa. There's Orlando, Fort Myers, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm Beach, Key West. And I can go on forever. Why did I choose Pensacola? Well, I chose Pensacola because Pensacola... It's not that huge airport like we're talking about Tampa. Because Tampa has a lot of terminals, a little bit of gates, but it has a lot of different type of aircrafts and variety of aircraft that I don't have myself. And I don't feel like going out and buying and doing and taking that much effort on me. So what I'm going to do is I'm doing Pensacola because Pensacola has most of the aircraft that I already have. So I wouldn't need to make such a huge adjustment. Of course, I'm going to have to do some adjustment to get brand new aircraft. But it's not going to be as huge as an adjustment as if I was going to do Orlando, Tampa, Fort Myers. Because those airports get aircraft that I don't have in my collection. So it's it's going to be harder for those to be done. But eventually, I do have plans to end up building a... The once uh pardon me, the Tampa International Airport. One day I do hope to build it, but not as of right now because as of right now I don't have the number one the finance the financials to do it because I don't have the money to do it. It's too much to buy, and number two it's huge and I would need a super super big board and I don't have the money to get all that stuff as of right now. So Pensacola I thought would be better. I would have probably chose. Destin for Walton Beach. I didn't choose it for a reason and one reason only. I will not be saying what that reason was or anything like that because I don't want to throw dirt on other people. I especially don't like doing that. I don't like going out and pretty much talking about people. It's not my, I guess you could say, my favorite thing to do. So I kind of, you know, try, I'm just going to back off about it. Not going to do Destin for Walton Beach for a reason and one reason only, once again. So. Um, that's what the only reason I didn't choose Destin and I chose Pensacola because Pensacola is a pretty nice airport and I feel like I can do a super good job on it if I pay attention on it and I take a really good look at it I, I feel like I can do really good on a Pensacola airport and I've been observing it for quite a few months now uh, and Silver Airways my ETR 42 haven't been able to use it on any of my airport updates because none of my current airports use it so, as of today, when I am currently recording this video, my Lubbock Preston Smith Airport is no currently an airport. It will no longer be my airport anymore. It's pretty much done. I am not going to do this airport anymore uh, for Lubbock. But there is the brand new airport of Pensacola, which is the one that's going to be coming. And then there's going to few be, be a few other ones as well coming after Pensacola. Which will take some time as well to uh, to get the planes and the money and all the stuff for. Not mainly worried about that, but just, you know, trying to hold off and try to get what I need. As well as uh, Pensacola, it could have come earlier, could have come later than what I said. What I said was just kind of an estimate. September, October is an estimate. It could come even earlier or even later, maybe 2022, maybe much earlier in 2021. Just depending on when Gemini releases or NG or any of those companies will release the aircraft that I need to complete my airport. So pretty much that's all I'm waiting for. I'm waiting on any company to release what I need and I can just purchase it, get done with Pensacola, put a first airport update out there and be done. And, you know, pretty cool because I really like Florida. I live in Florida for that reason because I love Florida. So... That's really, I want to get working on this airport as soon as I can, but I will hold my, a little bit of anxiety until I am able to finish uh, what I need to do with the airport. So now going on to about what is going to be the, if this going to be rotating with the airport or not, you know, kind of that trend. No, this would be a regular bi-month, not bi-monthly, it would be a monthly airport. So it'll be coming in regular schedule, just as the other airports do. The current Active airports that I have are my Hayden, my Hayden Airport, and my 
uh, Cocoa Beach Airport, as well as my Flint Airport. Flint, I don't have any plans. I know that one is really, really small. That one gets much more less action than Lubbock does. But I have a special attachment to that airport of Flint. So since I've always had that kind of attachment since I ever found out that that was an airport, I've had an attachment with it that I've not been able to let it go for many reasons that I will not be saying publicly because they're private reasons. But I will not be saying them a lot. But obviously, I do have my reasons on why I want to keep it and have no plans on switching it. So that's the only reason why I don't have any plans on changing or anything like that. So Flint is staying here, uh, as well as Cocoa Beach. I have a lots of plans to keep that one still up and running. That one's going to be an amazing airport. I have super good plans for it. And Pensacola is also going to be uh, much better, uh, much uh, wanted airport as well because I'm going to love all my airports equally when I'm able to make them all, which will be amazing. After all these airports come out, um, it, I don't have pretty, I don't have anything else to do. Pretty much, that's all the airports that I have in plan in mind to do right now. And Pensacola is the first one, and then it will go in order by how much like, planes I can get and things like that. And after all that is done, well, then you guys can start expecting some awesome content here on the channel. But uh, I think I pretty much covered everything about the airport. Uh, it's going to be a 1 to 400 scale, of course. It's going to be replacing my Lubbock Airport. It will be a monthly airport coming out monthly, just like the other airports. And I think that's pretty much it for this video. So to stop the rambling, uh, that's it. So I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, turning on the post notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a brand new content. With that being said, my name is TPAF Geek, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.